I don't like ghosts. They're one of my greatest fears. Which is exactly why Snap Judgment sent me to the Warfield Theater. It's not so spooky in the daytime. It's usually a rock venue. But the tunnels underneath the Warfield are a different story. See, the Warfield opened in 1922, during Prohibition. And down here was a speakeasy and a maze of tunnels where liquor revenuers ran alcohol. One of the rooms was the old bar. In it were Art Deco paintings and bullet holes. The employees of the Warfield say that the darkest areas are the ones with the most paranormal activity. About a year ago, up on the uh, fourth floor, the only people who were in the building at that time was David, who owned the building at the time, and myself. We had two offices side by side. And I heard a noise in the hallway. And uh, I walked out and I stuck my head down the hall. And it looked like somebody was walking into the room. I saw their, you know, their leg, you know, the, the last of one leg, like you can see somebody walking into a room. I uh, said, David, and uh, I didn't get an answer, so I went down to his office and I turned the door and it was locked. I have a key to it, and uh, it's a small office, and I opened it up and walked around and there was nobody there. This one was a real gripper. Uh, I came into the shop, or I came into the theater, it was me and one other fella, the, our production manager at the time, and it was only two of us in the building. The doors were shut back door was shut, everything was shut, and we were downstairs right here in the dressing room, and I walked into my office. He's on the other end of the hallway where you can't hear me, it's in the other room. I open the door, and I have my hands full, of course, with my bags, and I walk in, and I just felt attacked, just felt attacked, like there was something that was just hovering all over my right side, and it was, I just felt anger, I felt sadness, I felt drained, I felt tired all at the same time. I felt weepy, like my heart was being just crushed, like something was grabbing me and just gripping me. And the old boilers. Wow. I wanted to find these ghosts, prove they were real. So I called in the experts, a team of ghost hunters. Together, we spent the night to see what we could find. Can you tell us what happened to you? Can you make the light flick off and on? <laughs> Hear the full story on our Spooked 3 episode at snapjudgment.org.